Man, I tell you, I learned so much on this trip. After we finished our mukbang, I stayed behind with the boys. I just started talking to them about the bats that we saw. And then I just said, hey, can you shoot bats or can you shoot pigeons here? They both looked at me like, they're kind of scared and they're like, uh, let me tell you a story. <laughs> Namua is actually protected by a spirit. So say, that's the spirit name that protects this planet. You probably heard the story of Kelisa. Kelisa pretty much looks after or kind of rules the area from town heading towards halfway. But particularly this area, so Sea is the one that rules this area. The story that they shared was a bus driver came with all the passengers and the end destination was just around this area because the bus was owned by someone in the village here. And as they dropped all the passengers, there were two girls sitting right at the back of the bus. And the bus driver said, where are you guys going? We're pretty much at the end of the destination. And the two girls said, we want you to take us back to town. And the bus driver said, uh, no, uh, this is the end of the destination. So the bus stopped at the end of the destination and was pretty much heading back to where his home is in this village. And as he was heading back, he noticed an owl that flew across. And the owl flew low um, on the ocean. And then it started flying directly towards where the bus is. The bus driver noticed this owl was just coming. And it came on the side of the bus and then he just looked at the owl and then just kept driving from there. He just heard this shuffle at the back of the bus, like someone was kind of wrestling or something. And then he quickly looked at his mirror and turned behind. The girls were gone. They believed that Sosea, the spirit that rules this area, chased away Kelsa and just reminded Kelsa that this is his mission. So that was kind of scary. Uh, other things that uh, the villagers know about this island and being ruled by Sosea is they're saying that the island that we went to, Joe, Fanua Tapu. Okay, so if that island's called Fanua Tapu, that island we went to, they said that that island was never there. That island was, was not part of the, 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 the islands that are here in this area. The saying goes that Kilisa and the spirits from the central side of the district came and cut out a piece of the land that belonged to a village just around the corner here. And they were aiming to take that village, the chunk of the land, to American Samoa. The villagers woke up one day, something happened. Again, they were intervened by Sosea, and he stopped them. And that's where the land sits now. And you can tell that the land isn't as solid as the rest of the, the, the little islands that are here, only because it was just dropped there. You can see on the other side, you always have landslides because it's not a solid uh, land like it is on these ones and the other two ones around the corner. Pretty sweet story. Bro, sweet as bro. There are times where the villagers, whenever they see like a lantern, they, they will see some sort of light on the top of the hill of uh, Namua Island. And when they see that light, they know not to come fish. The reason to the light is Sosea is fishing. So you shouldn't come and fish. They're saying that at times uh, those of the village people that don't believe in this, they actually go out and they try and fish and they guarantee that they don't catch one fish, nothing. Because the rule is when, the, when you see the bit of a light on top of the hill of Namua, you're not supposed to come out and fish. <laughs> Crazy stuff. Always really interesting uh, listening to the stories, the ancient legends of Samoa. I always find them fascinating, but they're always difficult for me because the best stories come from those people who speak Samoan. And unfortunately, I don't speak Samoan, so I have to get it secondhand from um, people like Lama and Andrew and uh, Jared and V and other of our Samoan friends here who have taught us so much so once again so thankful that Andrew and Dorothy and the kids were able to make it out with us today so that they could teach us a little bit more about Namua.